Tammy stars Melissa McCarthy, and it's a story about a down-on-her-luck woman. She's just not doing well in any aspect of her life. Her job isn't working out, her personal life isn't working out, her relationships aren't working out, and the first five minutes of this movie make that very clear. While she's having an argument with her mom, we quickly pan to a room and we see her grandmother is played by Susan Sarandon. She has a couple thousand dollars and she doesn't like where she is, so they embark on a road trip. And what we get is a film that is billed as a road trip comedy, but is really a drama in disguise. Now, I like Melissa McCarthy. I think she's a very talented comedian. I've seen her in roles in the past where she did a very good job and she seems like a really sweet person in real life. But for the past few years, I've been looking in her career thinking she is just getting typecast in the same role over and over again. And when I saw the preview for Tammy, I was like, she's getting typecast again until I realized that her husband directed this film and he and her wrote it. She's reading these scripts, she's choosing them, and now she's writing them. She's just playing the same character over and over again. And in Tammy, Holy crap, it doesn't work at all. When your film's opening scene is your main character hitting a CGI deer with her car and then trying to resuscitate it by blowing air into its mouth from a distance, your film is going nowhere fast. The film takes like 10, 15 minutes setting up all these other issues and then they don't really have anything to do with the movie. They're just supporting characters that are just kind of there. And that's one of my biggest complaints with this movie. It takes really talented people, people like Alice and Janie, Kathy Bates, Sandra Oh, Dan Aykroyd, and just sidelines them into these roles in which they do nothing. It's like when they were writing their script, they were just like, who's really famous that can play these random side roles? Well, we'll get some people who are pretty talented and we'll just kind of throw them there, but they won't get to do anything. My biggest complaint with this movie is that it's just not freaking funny at all. I laughed not once during this film. Not one time did I laugh during this movie. A lot of shots in this movie feel incredibly lazy where they're just held for five to ten seconds longer than they should. The comedic beats do not work because of this. It just seems like a lot of times the actors are just wandering in and out of frame, telling jokes, kind of laughing, trying to be their characters, but they're just sort of on a set laughing. There's a scene in this movie, in fact it's the most widely promoted scene in the movie, where she puts on a paper bag, she's about to rob this burger joint because she needs money. She's in the parking lot and she's dancing, she's going like this in slow motion, and there's a rap song playing. And if you're not actually paying attention, you'll think, oh that's funny how she's dancing in slow motion, there's a rap song, but in reality, what in the hell is she doing? She's in a parking lot about to rob a burger joint and she decides to dance around in the parking lot and make like gangsta signs. And I'm like, what in the world is, what? What is she actually doing? Because in real life, she doesn't have a rap song. In real life, there isn't some slow motion. It's just a scene where she goes like this in slow motion for absolutely no reason. What is actually happening there? Why is that in the movie? I actually sat down for about 10, 20 minutes trying to think of something redeeming about Tammy and I couldn't find anything. When the words the end came on the screen, I was so excited I got up and I immediately tried to rush out of the theater and then two more scenes happened after that. Even though it already told me it was over, the film was still trying to stay around. I had to stand at the back of the theater and watch the two scenes. I told myself, Chris, watch these two scenes. Watching Tammy from start to end is like a rite of passage. It's like an initiation into a very hard to get into club. You watch Tammy all the way from beginning to end and you tell yourself you just did something good for society. This was a terribly unfunny movie that goes from, oh my goodness, she fell down, let's laugh at that, to let's have a serious crying scene about death. Tammy is a terribly written film and a very poorly directed one, and I'm not gonna pull any punches on this one. I'm gonna give Tammy an F. I feel bad for Melissa McCarthy and her husband for writing and directing this. It just did not work out, guys. You have more talent than this. Let's see that on your next project. Now, as you guys know, if you've watched some of my previous reviews, Hulu Plus contacted me and allowed me to offer you guys two weeks of their service for free. They want you guys to go to huluplus.com slash chrisstuckman and take advantage of that offer and stick around because I'm having so much fun watching things on the Criterion Collection. A lot of the Criterion Collection is on Hulu Plus. The X-Files, my favorite television show ever as I grew up, is on there as well. So much great entertainment right there at your fingertips. Classic movies, new TV shows. If you enjoy binge watching like I do, take advantage of this. That's two weeks of Hulu Plus for free. Guys, if you have seen Tammy, first of all, I'm sorry. What'd you think of the film? And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.